going back the same. You are not going back the same. Chains is broken. Evil chains is broken. Satanic chains is broken. Anything that is contending against your life is arrested. Anything fighting against you is arrested. You are moving from glory to glory. From honor to honor. From favor to favor. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout yeah. Somebody shout yeah. yeah. The fact that you are alive is a sure indication that God is about to give you a divine turnaround. Somebody do like this divine turnaround. Divine turnaround. to open a new chapter in your life. God is about to blow your mind. You are about to move in speed in the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. The the Holy Ghost. If you believe South, I believe. I believe. Tonight, God will touch your family. Tonight you are representing your family here. Yes. You didn't hear me. Yes. You are rep representing your family. Yes. That as you are here, God will remember your family. Yes. Anyone in problem, anyone that is facing challenges, anyone that the enemy is contending with, tonight, tonight, I can see victory. I can see victory. If you believe it, shout, I believe. I believe. Shout, I believe. I believe. Please have a seat. Have a seat. Welcome to Revival Fire Deliverance Ministry. I thought you clap your hands for Jesus. Acts chapter 12. The book of Acts. Acts chapter 12. I've titled my message Angelic Work. Acts chapter 12. Reading from verse 5. The book of Acts chapter 12. Reading from verse 5. Acts chapter 12. Reading from verse 5. Acts chapter 12, reading, reading from verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said, unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me and he and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he had seen a vision when they were past the first and the second ward they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city which opened unto them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel, and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Lift up your right hand. Say, God, God sent your angel, send your angel to, deliver me to deliver me from the expectation, 
from the expectation of the wicked. Of the wicked. No, no, say it with passion. Say, Lord. Lord. I can't hear. Say it with passion. Say, Lord. Lord. Send your angel. Send your angel to deliver me. To deliver me from the expectation. From the expectation of the wicked. Of the wicked. Now, Herod arrested James and killed him with a sword. James was an apostle, mm -hmm. prayer apostle. But when he was arrested, no one prayed for him. Mm -hmm. No one interceded for him. So, Herod killed James with a sword. And when Herod saw that it pleases the Jews, he proceeded further and arrested Peter and put Peter also in jail. Lift up your hand. Say, Satan, Satan. proceed no further. Proceed no further. Say with passion. Say, Satan, Satan. Proceed no further. Proceed no further. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. In my, in my children's life. In my children's life. In my husband's life. In my husband's life. In my wife's life. In my wife's life. Satan. Satan. Proceed. Proceed. No further. No further. When Herod saw that the Jews were happy, it gives him power to arrest the When you put Peter, Peter in jail, the Bible says the church came together. The church mm. came together. Wow. And they said, the same Herod killed James, the apostle, with a sword. When we sit down mm. and we don't do anything, Come on. Peter also will die. Come on. When the enemy attacks your son and you decide to sleep, the enemy will attack your daughter. Yes. The enemy will attack your husband. Yes. Then you yourself, the enemy will attack. Uh -huh. But when the, the enemy attacks your son, and you said, I will not allow you for you to destroy my son. Amen. No, you didn't hear me. I will not allow you for you to destroy my son. You have to take your hands off from my son. The enemy will back up. No one stood and pray mm, for, change. for change. No one. Wow. Mm. Your anointing alone. There are some situations. There are some problems. Your anointing alone cannot help you. You need corporate prayers. Yes. You need people to stand in and intercede for you. Yes. Yes. So change. No one intercede for James. But as for Peter, the church came together and they start praying. We will not allow Herod to kill Peter also. We will not allow Herod to use the same sword that he used to kill James to kill Peter. So they prayed. And when they prayed, God released his angel. Tonight there is going to be a release. I said there's going to be a release. There's going to be a release. Amen. Hot kill others cannot kill you. Amen. Hot destroy others cannot destroy you. Do you know why? Because we are praying for you. Because prayer is going on for you. There is some intercession going on for you. If you believe it, lift up your right hand and shout, I believe. I believe. Peter was different from James. Jesus told Peter, upon you will I build
for him to die. But someone was praying. Who is praying for you? Now, who is praying for you? You need someone to intercede for you. You need someone to stand with you. You need someone to prevail in prayer. You need someone to travel in prayer. And tonight, we are going to travel and prevail on your behalf. That the sword that destroy your mother cannot destroy you. That the sword that destroy your father cannot destroy you. That the sword that is killing everybody cannot kill you. Because your case is different. Yeah. Somebody clap it. Yeah. So Peter was in prison sleeping. He was not praying. He was in problem, but he was not praying. He was sleeping. He was sleeping. Because he was waiting for hell to kill him. But this time, God intervened. May the Lord intervene on your behalf. May the Lord intervene on your behalf. May the Lord intervene on your behalf. So, Peter was sleeping, and the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the prison and touched Peter. When he touched Peter, the Bible said the chains, the man was in chains. The chains fell off. Everything any demonic chain, any satanic chain that the enemy has used to bind you, let the chains break. 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 We break the chains. We break the chains. Do like this. Break, 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 break. Say, let the chains break. Stop break. Stop break. him to die. Mm -hmm. So he was waiting that in the morning Herod would just come and release him and do what he wanted to do. But at night let me tell you God will always move on time. Yes. Before the execute judgment God will come before the execute judgment. We're going to execute judgment on him in the morning, but at night, at night, at night, tonight, 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 let your angel be released. Let your angel be released. Let the angel of this ministry be released. Let the angel be released to your family. Let the angel of the Lord to be released in your family. Somebody shout, Release. So they, they, they were going to execute him. In the morning, but in the night, in the night, the angel of the Lord appeared in the prison, touched him. Then the chains fell off. Then he said, Wear your shoes, wear your clothes, follow me. So Peter was following the angel, and the Bible said they go through first post, second post. Then the third post was an iron gate. Listen, so where Peter was dead, no man can deliver him. No Peter, where Peter was dead, no man can deliver him. There are some situations. No man. No man. No man. It will take God. Yes. It will take God. Yes. It will take God. Yes. And I can see that God is speaking on your behalf. Yes. And God is going to move tonight. Amen. There were guys. They went through the first post. The second post. And the third post was an iron gate. And the Bible said, the iron gate opened by its own accord. No one touched it. No one touched it. No, no, no one touch it. Because the angel of the Lord was leading Peter. I prophesy. Let your angel appear tonight. Let your angel appear tonight. Let your angel appear tonight. If you believe me, shout, I believe. If you believe me, I want you to be on your feet. Lift up your right hand and shout, I believe. Shout, I believe three times. Post, 
one of God. Hallelujah. Second, and the third one was an iron gate. There is nothing that is too hard for the Lord. They thought that where you are, you are finished. They thought that you won't come out. They thought that you won't break out. They thought that you won't pray for. They thought that you won't break through. But tonight, I came to prophesy. I came to prophesy that this is your season and your moment of deliverance. This is your season and your moment of deliverance. I can see your angels release. Went through first post, second post. Then they go to the iron gate. Iron gate. The iron gate that the enemy has fortified. Even when you are able to escape from the guys, from, from the soldier men, you will come and meet the iron gate. So the angel led Peter and they went through first post. Second post, then the iron gate. And the Bible says, the iron gate opened by its own accord. And the iron gate was lit to the city. Mm. Let me tell you. If you are in prison spiritually, Come on. Tonight, tonight. If your business is in prison spiritually, Tonight. tonight. If your children are in prison spiritually, Tonight. I can see an angel of the Lord leading your children out of the prison. They are coming out. Your business is coming out. Your destiny is coming out. If you believe, lift up your right hand and shout, yeah! yeah. Somebody shout, yeah! yeah. 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 What destroyed James cannot destroy Peter. No cancer will prevail. No cancer, no diabetes will prevail. No demonic sickness will prevail. Your case is different. Your case is different. You carry different grace, different oil, different anointing. Your anointing is different. Those that are dying, no. As for you, you won't die. You won't die. Give me, give someone a high five and say, you won't die. You won't die. You have a problem with someone in the house. Say, you won't die. You will fulfill your destiny. Yes. Say so you won't die. Yes. Yes. You fulfill your destiny. Yes. Because there was a prophecy that Peter, yes. shoot. Yes, sir. You. you are the rock. Build my church. And the gate of hell. So it doesn't matter where the enemy puts you, you will come out. Come on. Some of you, because of your destiny and what you carry, the enemy cannot kill you. Because of what you carry, the enemy cannot destroy you. Because of what you carry, the enemy cannot kill you premature. It will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. You fulfill your destiny. You fulfill your calling. Your ministry will be great. Oh, you didn't hear me like a couple of institutions. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. The iron gate was led to the city, not the village. The city. The city. The city. The iron gate. The iron gate. There is some iron gate that leads to your major miracle. There is some iron gate that leads to your major deliverance. And the gate is shut. The enemy said you can't enter into that miracle. You can't go through that door. You can't go through that gate. But in the name of Jesus, every demonic gate will be opened by its own accord. Every satanic gate will be opened by its own accord. I prophesy. I can see you coming out. I prophesy. I can see your ministry coming out. I prophesy. I can see your gift coming out. If you believe, lift up your right hand and shout, I believe. There is some gate that is lit to your marriage. And they shut the gate. The gate will be open. So, when the gate was open, the angel was walking with Peter. Then the angel disappeared. Listen. Then the Bible said, Peter then 
came to himself. All God is about to do, it will be like a dream. Let me close. It, it, it will be like a dream. Because all along, Peter was dreaming. He didn't know what was going on. He thought it was a dream. What God is going to do, God is going to blow your mind. God is going to blow your mind. The enemy thought that he has finished with you, but God is going to blow your mind. God is going to give you a divine turn around. God is going to lift up your head. You will bounce back again. You will bounce back. You will bounce back again. If you believe me, shout, I believe. I believe. So Peter thought that it was a dream. Then he said, now I know. Now I know. That God sent his angel. Yes. Now I know. Now I know that God sent his angel to deliver me from the expectations of the Jews. Now I know. Now I know. Now I know. When Jesus died, when Jesus died, the book of Luke, when you read Luke chapter 24, from verse 1, when Jesus died, Jesus, before he died, he said, I will die and in three days, I will resurrect. Hello? Yes. Amen. Am I preaching? Amen. Amen. Am I preaching? Amen. Yeah, Luke chapter 24, when you read from verse 1, he said, I will, I will die and in three days I will resurrect. The Bible said Jesus died and, and they put Jesus in the tomb. When they put Jesus in the tomb, they, they put a stone on the tomb. Now, the Bible says, in the third day, early morning, the women took spices. And they were, they were going to spice the body of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Someone that has prophesied ah. that in third day I will resurrect. Why should you come and spice my body? Come on. They are, they are, they are going to add more problem to the situation. Yes. You didn't hear me. They are going to add more problem to the situation. They say, third day I will resurrect. The third day, early morning, early morning, the women took. They, are spicy. they were going to spice Jesus' body. But before they got to the tomb, Jesus was not there. God will always be on time. And the enemy will be late. Always will be late. Will be late and late and late and late. Before the enemy strike, God will deliver you. Before the enemy strike, God will give you a testimony. Before the enemy comes, then God settles you. So they wake up early in the morning. But when they go there, so I shall say, what time did Jesus leave the tomb? Like they spice the body, that'll be all. They were going to spice the body, going to add another problem. Uh -huh. When they got there, Jesus was not there. They entered into the tomb. Jesus was not there. So when they came out from the tomb, there was two angels standing there. And the angels asked the woman, why do you seek the living among the dead? It means Jesus. It means Jesus' address has changed. Jesus' address has changed. Why do you seek the living among the dead? Because why they bless you, they thought that they would go and come and see you at the same spot. By the time that they return, God will change your address. By the time that they return, God will change your address. They knew that they would meet Jesus in the tomb. But when they go to the tomb, Jesus was not there. Then the angel said, Why do you seek the living? among the dead. Why? Why? I prophesy. I prophesy that when the enemy has blessed you, you are coming out. When the enemy has blessed you, you are coming out. You are coming out from a tomb. You are coming out from a demonic tomb. If you believe me, shout yeah! Somebody shout yeah! Why? Do you seek the living? Among the dead. Among the dead. It's risen. It's risen. It's risen. It's risen. It's risen. Jesus' address has changed. Where the enemy 
bind you. Come on. Where the enemy puts you. By the time that they come back, you'll be out. Yeah. And they'll be looking for you, they won't find you. They'll be look they can't trace you. Say, my enemies, my enemies. can't trace me. They'll be looking for you. Oh, we, we put her here. We, she's supposed to be here. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? We put her in the poverty. Where is she? We put her in this stroke. Where is she? By the time that they come back, Madusadaya. By the time that they come back, God will change your address. God will change your location. God will lift you up and they won't find you. They will look for you, but they won't find you. I can see your enemies looking for you. They are frustrated. They are oppressed. They are depressed because when they catch you, you are not there. The prison that they catch you, you are not there. The tomb that they catch you, you are not there. The sickness that they catch you, you are out of that sickness. The problem that they catch you, you are out. Somebody is coming out. If you believe, you just rise up and, and, and begin to walk and declare that I'm coming out. 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 Somebody say, I'm coming out. Lift up your voice. I want you to speak. Madura Masada. We are the Roma 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 Masada. We are Don't keep quiet. Open your heart. 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 You are out. 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 There is healing all over. The presence of God. The presence of God. The anointing of God is so strong. Let's keep on walking. When they catch you, you are coming out. When they catch you, you are out. Now you begin to walk. 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 There is healing. There is healing. That problem in your heart. That evil problem in your heart. I'm seeing heart problem. I'm seeing heart problem. And God said, You said, Yes. Long time. Long time. Listen to me. Listen to me. There is going to be healing. There is going to be healing. Long time. There's a problem in your heart. Yes, that is what I'm seeing. And God said, I should tell you that you will live and not die. Jesus, 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 give God all the praise. Someone give God all the praise. Someone give God all the praise. Someone give God all the praise. Somebody give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. You have struggled with this sickness for a long time. If you have struggled and you are on medication. You are on medication. You are on medication. And sometimes you feel very difficult to breathe. Your breath. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit is ministering to me that healing is taking place right now. Healing is taking place right now. Healing is taking place. Healing. Healing is taking place right now. That you will not die. You will live to fulfill your destiny. That you will not die. That you will live to fulfill your destiny. I need, I need strong men too. Holy Spirit, thank you. 
Thank you for your healing. Oh, something is coming out. Something is coming out. She's free. She's free. She's free. I want you to clap your hands for Jesus. Just put your hands together for Jesus. 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 Because before she, she was coming here, she took some medication even before she came. And the Holy Spirit is ministering to me right now that you will not die. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me and telling me that I should just pray for you. This sickness will end. It will end. It will end. Jesus. 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 Lift up your hand. Jesus. 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 Now bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Lord, for your healing. Matisa Katana Baba. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Now walk. You are not walking. Walking in the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. We give you all the praise. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. I had diabetes is going. I had diabetes. I had diabetes is going. Yeah, yeah. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. Diabetes. Is, is going. I'm seeing diabetes. I, I saw diabetes leaving your body. Diabetes. Diabetes. You have been struggling with diabetes. Somebody give God all the praise. Somebody clap your hands. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Diabetes. 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 You have been battling with it. Jesus, Holy Spirit. We command your healing. We command your divine healing. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord. Come again. I, I, I've never had this happen before. Never. No. So today's your first time. First time. First time. This isn't the kind of church I go to. No, no, no. So this is a different thing altogether. Yes, ba yeah. I'm Baptist. You're Baptist. He's a child of God. Child of God. Ba ba she likes to come here, so I came with her. No, so she likes to come here. Fire. Revival, fire, deliverance ministry. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Doc. We've been friends for 54 years. 54 years. Yes. And 55. 55. No, we were 55. 55. And she, she said, today is the first time yes. experiencing this kind yes. of ministry. Yes. We give yes. glory to yes. Jesus. Yes. We give glory to Jesus. Yes. Thank you for your obedience, John. God Amen. bless you. Amen. God bless you. Love you. You are grateful. Yeah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Give God all the praise. Listen to me. Tonight the move is going to be very deep. Very deep. Very deep. Very deep. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are here. You are free. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm seeing a gift, but it's a prophetic gift. God will start speaking to you. You are going to move in the prophetic. I saw you prophesy. You've been in the ministry for a long time. For a long time. But God is ministering to me right now that your gifts 
is about to manifest. You are so gifted. I'm seeing a book. You will write a book. Because I saw a book that you've written a book. And that book is so anointed. And that book will come out. Then I saw you ministering. And when you were ministering, you were prophesying. Then I saw sicknesses departing from people's body. Healing and the prophetic. Healing and the prophetic. As you are living here, your ministry has changed. Hallelujah. Your ministry has changed. You are going to move in the prophetic. You are going to move in power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can see an angel release. Yes, I can see an angel release. And the angel is strengthening you. The angel is strengthening you. Thank you, God. The ministry has been under attack. The ministry has really been under attack. It's like they are fighting against the growth of the ministry. But that says the Lord. That says the Lord. It will grow and become big. That says the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. You know something? I want to prophesy. I'll go very deep. I'll go very deep. So I don't want um, we can cut off the videos. I'll go very I want to.